Watering pigs can be very frustrating. And one of the primary reasons for that is because they just can't seem to help themselves whenever it comes to making a mess out of water. So, today we're going to make ourselves an automatic waterer for our feeder pigs that we separated out just a few days ago. Hi everyone, this is Andrew at Plainview Farm. And allergy season is in full swing here in the southern Missouri Ozarks. So, I've brought the old yellow glasses back out to protect my eyes from all of the grass pollen. If you've been around the channel for very long, you've probably seen this water setup that I use for my butcher hogs. It's just a 55 gallon barrel with some push button drinkers uh, on the side of it. Now this particular barrel has two drinkers, uh, one right here that this pig is drinking from, and then another one over there that that pig uh, was just investigating. And then I also have a spot for a third drinker to go right there. Whenever I say a push button drinker, this right here is what I'm talking about. As you can see, let me get a little closer here. This is a cast little bowl and it has this brass fitting with a push button on the front of it. Whenever the pig comes up to get a drink out of this, they will push on this button right here with their nose and you can't really see it, but at the bottom, there's uh, a little hole right here and this is a valve and it they push and it opens up that valve and then water pours in and fills up the bowl on the back side here there is a little screen that helps filter out any debris and these little filters they just pop if i can get it out of there pop right out of there so every once in a while it's a good idea to pull these out and clean them out because they will get clogged up from time to time and then they just pop right back in. This drinker right here is one that I've had for quite a while. Actually, I've had all of them for quite a while and I tend to move them around to where I need them. Right now, that 55 gallon barrel is the only uh, water barrel that I have that's set up for a drinker. Uh, but today we're gonna, we're gonna make another one out of a old mineral tub, at least for our feeder pigs to get them by for a while. And I'll add this really quick. I know there are a lot of people that like to use the nipple waterers. Um, they're just a, basically a deal that sticks out of the barrel and it has a little valve on the end of it and they can put their mouth directly on that and depress that down with their mouth or their tongue and it allows water to run into their mouth. It's very similar type setup. Personally, you know, this is just my personal preference. I like the bowls because whenever they press on this, the water goes into the bowl and it's not as easy for them to make a mess. Now, um, there may be a little bit steeper learning curve for these, I don't know, but I've, I've never had a problem with pigs figuring out how to use these drinker bowls. So the first thing I need to do is clean up this old mineral tub. It's been sitting out for quite a while. It's just gotten really dirty. Uh, actually, I used this to water Dan, uh, the boar hog. He's actually big enough that he could stick his head over and drink out if you fill it up. So like I said, just going to clean the mud off of it from where Dan had pushed it around and made a mess with it. All right, that's probably good enough. Inside looks clean. So I really don't need much for this project. I've got a drill with a hole saw bit on it. 
Teflon tape. It's probably not necessary because again, we're just using gravity here. It's not under any pressure. And then I have my bulkhead fitting, which I'll show you my bulkhead fitting here. So we have two rubber washers. Um, one rubber washer goes on the inside of the barrel. One rubber washer goes on the outside of the barrel. And then our ring creates a compression seal against these two rubber washers. The inside of our fitting is threaded so that we can thread our drinker right into it. It's really not overly complicated. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the bulkhead fitting at the proper height, basically for them to, to be able to drink comfortably. You want this to be just below uh, shoulder height for the pigs or just below head height. That way they can walk up to it and get a drink without too much trouble. And then as they grow, we can lift this up in the air, move it up so they can continue to drink easily, comfortably. Actually, I'm gonna move down and start low. That way we can get better use of our water. And you don't wanna go directly down. You, you do wanna allow some space where sediment, dirt, that kind of stuff can settle on the bottom. And it reduces the likelihood of clogging up your drinker. But like I said, I'm gonna move this down a little bit because we can always lift it up if we need to. And that way we're not leaving too large of a gap at the bottom. All right, hole is drilled, simple enough. So the hole saw that I had is actually a little bit too small for the bulkhead fitting, but that was the closest one that I had. So, you know, if you look here, we're just a little bit undersized. So I've got this file. I'm gonna use this to open it up just a touch. Need to go a little bit more. Still a little tight. There we go, that's about perfect right there. So this is a process that doesn't have to be overly complicated. Um, I know there's different folks will tell you different ways to put these on. I've put them in barrels that still had just the, the two holes at the top. And basically what you do is you fish a wire up in there and you try to get this to fall down properly inside the hole. Um, but again, the main thing is to just get it on there to where it doesn't leak out all of the water. Or if it does leak, that your leak is relatively slow. So again, just ran it through the inside of the barrel here to get it seated in properly. You're trying to get it flush against the, the side of the barrel. And as you tighten it down, it will flatten the side of the barrel out so that you do get a seal of some sorts. And we're gonna use our big crescent hammer here. Once you initially get that tight, it should spin fairly easily without too much trouble. The big thing here is just making sure that your rubber washer doesn't get overly distorted. Or deformed, however you want to say it. To the point that it no longer does its job. All right, so if you can see here, it's starting to push the rubber washer out. Hopefully that's plenty tight enough to get the job done. So I am gonna use a little bit of thread seal tape here just because 
it's probably not necessary. But with pigs, I don't want to give any more opportunity for the water to leak out and then make a mess than, than I have to. So. Just a little bit added security. Then we just thread it in there. You may have to work with it a little bit to get it tight because the bulkhead fitting again, it will move. And that's okay. Like I said, this isn't under pressure. This is all just gravity feed. All right, I think that's good enough. We'll test it out and see. So the inside of the barrel, there where the bulkhead fitting is coming through. And then the front side, Again, you can see where the bulkhead fitting the nut goes on and then the drinker threads in to the bulkhead fitting. Get all of our plastic shavings out of there. Fill it with water here in the yard, that way if there's a problem we can fix it here. All right, I think that's good enough. Well, I don't feel any water running out. Even if I lift up on the bowl, bulkhead fitting, feels like it's sealed. So, as I was saying, whenever the pigs come up to this, they push on that button and water pours out into the bowl and then they are able to drink the water then directly from the bowl. And like I said, compared to the, the nipple drinkers that are fairly common and popular, these bowls, and this is a, you know, this is an old design here. These have been, things have been around forever. But these old bowls, uh, they catch the biggest majority of the water. And the pigs can't just stand here and hold the valve open to create a big muddy space. I mean, they could, um, you know, but, but it's not as easily I guess used to make a mess as the the nipple drinkers now I know there's folks that absolutely love those and that's fine But you know, that's why that's why I prefer these these bowls like this so we'll go ahead and dump this water out and then Get our pigs set up with their new water. Uh oh get their pan out of the way here. I just use this little plastic pan to get by. Throw down a couple boards there to keep it up off the ground. Maybe a little too high. Just get somebody to come up there and test it out. No, it may be just a touch high, but it won't be for long. Now we just let it fill up with water. Okay, I'll go ahead and put a little in the bowl if it doesn't all run out. There we go.
comes Dan to check us out. What are you up to, Dano? Huh? What are you up to, buddy? All right, that's full. So there we have it, an automatic waterer for our feeder pigs, at least for the time being. One of the great things about these mineral tubs is that you can pick them up for pretty well free just about anywhere. That's, that's where I get them. I get them from, uh, actually from my brother. Uh, he uses, goes through a lot of those in a year's time. So uh, a lot of times he's just wanting to get rid of them. So people use them for planters, they use them for all kinds of things. Now, they aren't necessarily all that durable. Over time, they do break down and they'll crack, which I'm sure this one will uh, eventually as well, at which time, you know, it'll, it'll be converted into a feed dish or something like that. But like I said, for the time being, works great as a waterer. Now, something else that I do need to mention here is that now that we've got the piglets pulled off of the sow, she is starting to come into a heat cycle. Uh, old Dan the boar has been paying a lot of special attention to her, so I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to go ahead and turn, her, turn him in with her now, um, or wait until the next cycle. Honestly, she probably needs to gain a little weight. She needs to put some weight back on to improve her body condition before before we you know look toward the next litter of piglets so i'll probably um probably keep him away from her at least for the time being they're they're kind of talking to each other quite a bit uh whispering sweet nothings into one another's ear um through the fence here but so far he hasn't given me any indication that he's going to tear the fence up trying to get in the pen with her so for now we'll just leave them separated and try to put put some weight back on her so this was a fairly short video but hopefully you got something out of it uh, if you did i would appreciate it if you do me a favor and hit that like button so other people can find it as well and if you have not yet i would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to our channel as always i appreciate you watching we'll see you next time